So here now, in Trinidad, we have three true water snakes. And one of the three is the water mapper bee, brown banded water snake, water snake, or mountain keelback, Helicops angulatus. Well, I know what some all you thinking or what all you are going to say. Yeah, well, no, it's not poisonous or harmful to humans. You can see them in any waterway from marshes, swamps, to ponds, slow moving and fast streams, drains and also rivers in any waterway. They are active most of the time at night and occasionally move around during the day. The average size is around 31 inches or 78 centimeters, but I've seen one that was 37 inches in length. This snake is interesting in so many ways and one of the ways is how it reproduces. This species is oviparous and ovoviparous, having from 7 to around 34 babies. They are one of a few species of snakes that can do both. Oviparous meaning they lay eggs, like most birds, you know, chicken, like birds in general. And ovoviparous meaning they let the eggs hatch within their bodies and give birth to live young, like boas and most vipers. Another interesting thing is the colors. Some individuals are born with yellow bellies, some with grey yellow bellies, and some with red bellies. And well, I found one with both red and yellow colors on its belly. The colors are random. It doesn't mean male or female, it's just random genetics. And because of their colors and patterns, a lot of people has mistaken them for a Mapupi balsine and somehow a coral snake. Plus, some people told me they thought it was a water coral. Now the water mapapi is a mildly venomous snake with rare fangs but the venom can't unalive people. I personally have been bitten from this species a few times. So in all you don't need to worry about this snake. The venom is more potent to its prey items. It feeds on fishes, frogs, worms and lizards. If you come across one, most of the time it will freeze and then look to swim away. But if you bounce up one on land, some individuals will curl up and try to hide their head and others will flatten out to look bigger. And if you provoke them, which is very easy to do, they will strike. Their behavior is kind of odd. What I mean is they are very defensive when you first meet them. But when they get accustomed to you, they become puppy dog tame. They sometimes act like they know you long time. But in general, they prefer to stay away from humans. Honestly, I find they look like miniature anacondas and they're kind of cute. And it's harmless. And as you all know, I am the wildlife master. Like, share, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, blessings and bless out.